Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's pick a card reading and it is his or her current thoughts. I hope you're doing great. Welcome to anyone new. Welcome back to anyone returning. My name's Kat. I hope you enjoy the reading today. Remember it's general and intuitive so take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. Without further ado, let's get on with today's reading. His or her current thoughts. Here we go. Hi group one. So his or her current thoughts. The Hierophant, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Knight of Coins, Four of Swords, Just Breathe, Eight of Cups, Moving On, and Laugh at Your Demons is the general overall energy. So, I feel like this person is kind of an interesting energy here. This person is leaving behind some heaviness they're recovering from something and walking away from something they're leaving behind i don't think it's leaving you behind it depends on your situation right they're leaving behind something that is haunting them something that's heavy something that they've outgrown okay there's something that they need to move on from it's slow though it's slow Knight of Coins, this is a slow moving energy, but they are moving on from it. They are getting over their issues. That's the message they want you to know. They are getting over their issues, but it's so slow. You might not see it fully. It's like, it's so, it's like glacial. <laughs> okay. But they are moving on from their old problems. Just breathe. Four of Swords, this is a recovery energy. Eight of Cups, this is moving away from things that are addictive, uh, old addictions, old patterns, old things that are holding them back. Laugh at your demons means they're not taking things so seriously anymore in terms of the things that have been haunting them. So they're releasing. They're in the process of learning with the Knight of Coins, learning to let go, letting go of things. And why is this? I feel like this is because maybe of you. <laughs> the Hierophant, this is a committed energy, I think, to learning to move in towards the light towards their past towards what's right for them there's a there's a sort of spark of new passion here with the page of wands they're feeling excited they're feeling inspired they've had a lot of pleasure and happiness recently this is probably with you or about you it could be thinking about you and that's what's helping them to kind of take steps and take action the night is action it's just slow action but they are healing moving on and moving towards down a path that is much more enlightened and much more it's going to end up in them being more healed and and able to kind of maybe move towards greater levels of happiness freedom and inspiration in the near future so i hope this makes sense guys loads of love see you on the next reading or private reading in the meantime see ya hello group two okay so his or her current thoughts we've got three of wands king of cups page of cups nine of swords the fool the star which is trust and heal and reach for the stars <laughs> the star and then reach for the stars that's cool okay so this person is longing longing we've got the king of cups and the three of wands this could be you as the king of cups so it could be them doesn't matter because either you are very loving towards them and have very serious feelings towards them or they are having very loving and serious feelings towards you <laughs> either way it's kind of like this serious loving energy the three of wands this is this kind of waiting for things to happen a lot of passion a lot of creativity a lot of desire but it's still to happen yet a longing a desire wanting things to move forward page of cups this is somebody uh feeling thinking out of the box feeling very dreamy about you um uh, about the situation you know they but okay but they also feel very afraid so i feel like perhaps they may be they have very strong feelings for you um but they might think it's a bit of a fantasy that it's not really very real because the nine of swords is a lot of fear a lot of anxiety but it's unfounded so maybe they, the feelings are reciprocated or maybe it is real, but they kind of doubt it because they feel like it's probably like just a fantasy in their head because we've got the fool and the page of cups here surrounding this nine of swords. So 
for me, it's like this person is worried that they're not being very realistic or they're not being very um, rational. Um, but the star and the reach for the stars is saying that like, they do see you as their like ultimate. They do see you as like their wish come true, their dream come true. And they are reaching out to you. And so they may actually reach for the stars. They may literally be reaching out to you soon. They want to reach for the stars. They want to reach for their dream, which is you. But they have fears about how reasonable, rational or sensible that is. With the star, I feel like this is about distance with the three of ones as well. So you guys could be at a distance or in separation or something like that. But this person has a lot of deep feelings for you. They're just concerned about how realistic that relationship or these feelings really are. So I hope this makes sense. That's all I've got for you this week, guys. Loads of love. See you on the next reading. Or in a private reading. In the meantime. Bye. Hi, guys. How are you doing? So, let's have a look. Here's our her current thoughts. We've got six of wands, the star. We had double star in the previous reading. <laughs> previous group. The six of wands, the star, the eight of coins, the page of swords, two of swords, which is refusing to see, four of cups, opportunity beckons, and seek hidden treasure. Okay, so yeah, this person, with Seek Hidden Treasure, this is the overall message and it's saying that, you know, it, even a bad situation or a situation that doesn't look great, there could be something really great within it and that's what Four of Cups is as well here. They're saying it seems like something isn't great, but it is, you just don't see it. You're not seeing the opportunity that's right in front of your eyes. You're feeling disappointed or you're feeling like something's not right, but actually it's more right than you could realize. Yes, you're refusing to see what is right in this situation. There's something right under your nose that's great, but you're branding it as bad when you should be branding it as good or leaving it open. <laughs> so don't, this card really for me, see, and treasure, it's like don't jump to conclusions that something's bad. Because actually, you need to see it differently. There's an opportunity that you've turned your back on. Like literally, there's this opportunity. This person's turned their back on it. They're, they're looking in the wrong place or they're looking in the wrong direction. So it might be that you've kind of looked at the situation like... You kind of looked at the situation. I've just realised that I'm kind of saying this like to you, but this is their thoughts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but this is... Okay, so what they're saying to me here is that Maybe you are not seeing it. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm talking to you. Interesting. Interesting. That's kind of like, whoa, that's like thrown me. Because I'm talking to you about this. Like, you haven't seen something. You've not seen it in the right way. So it's not them that's not seeing it in the right way. It might be that you're not seeing it in the way that they're intending. Okay? All right, this makes sense. Oh, okay, with the Page of Swords. Yeah. Okay, this makes sense. Right, so what they're saying is they are their thoughts are, their, their kind of th current thoughts, their current feelings are that maybe you have seen them in a certain way or you are seeing them in a certain way and they're asking you to be open to seeing them differently. You're, they're asking you to be open to seeing them in a more positive light, seek hidden treasure, and I think they are also trying to do that. But there's just this strong energy of me. I just obviously just launched into it because I'm kind of channeling it. <laughs> and it was like totally for you. So they're saying like, don't jump to conclusions about something. Don't turn your back on an opportunity. Don't shut your eyes to a possibility. Page of Swords can be a kind of a, a, a very youthful, impulsive, kind of reactive energy. So just be careful with that. I think... They're kind of aware of this too. They are trying to work on themselves. Eight of coins with the page of swords. I think they are trying to work on themselves. They are trying to kind of spend time alone working on themselves. Um, their thoughts are that they have a lot of uh, positivity and a lot of hope about the future. We've got the star and the six of wands. So they feel like this is a success. They feel like there can be success in the relationship. They want to move towards it. They feel like you are like this hope, this light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but what it looks like to me is maybe you've had a falling out or there's been a period of separation or a problem. And it's like this person is trying to work on themselves. They are trying to work on themselves. They have got new ideas about trying to work on themselves. 
But there's this need to kind of like reframe it, see it differently, be open to possibilities, open your eyes, open your heart, open to new possibilities. And they're saying they really clearly just kind of like totally took over and wanted or the guys took over and wanted to say that this isn't just them. There's some mirroring going on here. You need to be open as well. There's a real need to be open to seeing things differently, seeing things in a more positive light because there is hope here with the star. This is a new dawn. This is a new day. And actually the worst is over and you have been more successful and they are being more successful than you perhaps realize. So sorry that was a bit of a confusing start, but I hope you stayed with me. Guys, have a lovely, lovely week and I'll see you next time. Um, okay, guys. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you on the next reading on a private reading. In the meantime, bye guys. Bye.